Um, just wanted to do an unboxing video. I just received the loco and service shops from Sierra West Scale Models in the mail th today. I uh, figured I would do an unboxing video since I will be working on this project for the next, oh, couple months at least. So, here's what the picture on the outside of the box looks like. Um, now, I will say I have actually opened the box and I removed the excess um, newsprint that was used to package it. So, that's the only part that's missing. Um, first thing you see right here, the white metal and resin detail parts. It's got to be one of my favorite parts of this kit. I'll review it in just a moment. Um, as you see, each one of these bags is numbered and actually labeled with what's in it. Very useful. Um, to see what it is. So there's several bags of strip wood here. Um, the beautifully cut laser cut interior walls and bracing. Um, here you see several of them stacked together. Bag number six which has all of the details. I'm guessing it's roofing material, signs, and all the other odds and ends of brass and plastic and chain that will provide some of the details. Got another bag of strip wood here. One of the best parts of these kits, the instruction manual. I mean, wire bound book, um, everything you need in here to know how to build the kit, how to detail the kit, all sorts of weathering techniques, and just to something, um, this will be the third kit from um, Sierra West Scale Models, uh, Brett Gallant. Um, this will be the third kit of his I've done, and they are awesome. Uh, everything's clearly spelled out. Um, it teaches you techniques that can be used in any other sort of thing. Um, they call these craftsman kits, but to be honest, the kit has everything you need. They're really easy if you follow the directions, just take it slow. The amount of detail you get after it is incredible. Okay, and here we have the windows and door frame details. Um, even the pulleys for the sliding door. That's pretty cool. The looks like the inner walls for the smaller buildings, and then the uh, the jigs for cutting various pieces of. Uh, I believe it's the roof, the rafters. Um, and bottom of the box, if I can get it out, there we go. Let me move the box out of the way temporarily. Are all our templates. So, and they are full scale size, show you the pattern to lay roofing. Um, The assembly parts and details for the oil tanks, you know, how to lay up the pipe, what do you need to use to do it. Um, templates for building the doors. The templates for the sand house. The main walls giving various details. Um, sometimes you need to use um, various parts like the trap line to make the uh, corners nice and nice and even and straight, make it look real. Um, the full size floor plan, so we know where to lay out the track and that. Um, this will actually work for both HON3, uh, HO narrow gauge, and um, HO standard gauge. It's just the difference of the track you lay down inside of it. Um, the 80% of full size layout diorama, just to show how he laid it out as a diorama, um, I will probably follow this eh, relatively close, but we'll see. My intention is actually to integrate this into my layout in a section that I as yet have to build. And the final sheet is looks like the details for the water tank and including the depth gauge, how to bend the wire for the fill line. Um, here's another sheet that shows all the details for the oil tank platform. Um, 
how to build it and how to lay it out. And I believe that's it. I'm really looking forward to building this kit and I hope to um, increase uh, to uh, post videos during the installation. And I just realized I missed the most important part of all. Let's go back to the fine details, the boxo details. I feel like there should be like a choir or something singing. Ah! <laughs> Here's, if I can get it open, the details. Um, first off, we have a baggie of all of the, let's see if I can get this to focus, all of the white metal casting parts beautifully casted, very few mold lines. Um, Sierra West Scale Models does an incredible job on these. More details, there's tons of them. And then, all of the resin details. Um, as you can see, by the time I'm done, these will just be beautiful, showing all of the junk on the shelves, all those little detail that really sell the scene. And I uh, can't wait. I uh, hope you'll join me in my future videos in seeing how I do it. And thanks again for checking out this video.